Hola, hola everyone. My name is Gabby y bienvenidos a mi YouTube channel. Today is moving day. So we are packing up the car to head to the dorms and I'm just gonna vlog the entire process. So yeah, that's it. I hope that you enjoy the rest of the video. Okay guys, we made it. We are at UMKC. We're 15 minutes early, so let's see if they let us move in. But we're here. Everybody's here, and I'm gonna check in before my parents start moving stuff out of the car right now. We have our keys and a cart. <laughs> we only get one cart at a time, and I have way too many things. So this is gonna be interesting to see how many rounds we need to make. First round of stuff. <laughs> okay, so we found a secret elevator <laughs> to get to the honors annex, which is all the way over there. So last year I lived in regular Oak Street, which is this building behind me right here. But this year I'm going to leave in the Honors Annex, which is kind of like a wing of Oak Street, but it is separate. It has a separate entrance and stuff. Okay guys, we're in the room. I'm going to give a very quick tour of what it looks like right now, okay? And then I'll show it to you in a dorm tour video when it's done. So this room looks a little bit bigger than our old room, which is so exciting. And it has those beautiful windows and a view of the courtyard, which I'm very excited about. And we have the bathroom here. And the other room for my bestie Maya. So Simone's gonna be with me in the other room. If you haven't seen the videos with my roommates, then you're missing out because they're the best people ever. But they both get here tomorrow, so it's kind of only me for today. I guess the first thing we're doing is lofting the bed, um, <laughs> which is a little bit complicated. Since we're in Oak, uh, you do need to get a lofting kit, and those you can reserve in Rue Res, the housing portal. But if you're in Johnson, then you do not need a lofting kit. The bed is successfully lofted. I will say don't try to do that by yourself. Get your friends or your family to help with that. Also, I just discovered that Chase is my new RA. So that's funny because Chase is my study buddy and now his face is on my door. <laughs> there he goes with the cart. He hasn't seen me yet, which is funny. <laughs> we are in the second round of things and I will say again, I'm an overpacker. If you have seen my videos of vacation in Puerto Rico, I already made this confession. But specifically right now, it's kind of a problem that I have so many things to get up to my dorm. Trip number two. That is quite a hefty card. A biology fun fact since we're on campus. This pine cone is a female pine cone, which is kind of cool because it opens up so that the seeds can fly off and go plant new pine trees. So for the most part, when you see a pine cone that's opened up like this on the floor, most of the time, those are female cones. All right, we're done with round three. Only have one more to bring up my dresser, which is not necessary because they provide one, but I brought one anyways. This is how everything's looking right now. Obviously a mess, but you know what? Everything that's beautiful starts out looking like a mess. So it's okay. Dad is getting the last dresser right now. So we are gonna start organizing. And as you can see, I have way too many things. Just means I'm prepared for everything ever. But if I do find like I have things I'm not gonna use, I'll probably send them back with mom and dad, so. No harm, no foul, it's okay. The dresser is here. That's the biggest piece of furniture that we had to bring. So that was a success. Now I'm trying to get rid of the bigger boxes so that we can have some more space under the bed. I'm not sure for what, but I guess we can get creative with that at some point. 
but my bed is way up there so that's yep yep <laughs> we have under the sink all of the cleaning supplies ever right here I will say that one key difference in the dorms of Oak and Johnson is that Oak has storage under the sink, but Johnson has cubbies in the bathroom to make up for that storage. And the bathroom is a little bit bigger also, so that's one of the key differences. Here we started setting up the bed but eventually I realized that it was way too tall because I bonked my head <laughs> in the ceiling with the ceiling when I sat up there. So we realized that we would have to take it down and oh my gosh, taking that bed down is such a process. So definitely, like I said, when you're lofting your bed and figuring all of that out, get some help from friends and family. Here we have mom. She is doing the shower curtain. Dad doesn't want me to vlog because he says I'm not doing anything. I'm, I'm not really doing anything, so I should probably do that actually. I will say that one of the best things that you can do while unpacking or moving into your dorm is literally taking every single thing out of the boxes so that they're out in the open and you kind of have an idea of where you're going to put them. It just makes stuff easier to know what you have versus what you don't have and where you're going to put it and all of that stuff. Then I reused some decoration pieces for my nightstand, a painting that my sister did, a couple of dried flowers that Tim gave me, and a collage that I made last year when I moved into my dorm. Okay, vlog update! We have the bed is set up, it just has a bunch of stuff on it. We are slowly reducing the mess. This is what my side table looks like. This is the dresser by my bed. And we have a bunch of stuff on the sink area. And my closet is looking pretty good right now. No clothes yet because that's in the big suitcase and I haven't even begun to unpack the suitcase. But then we have this pretty shower curtain. So that's that's how we're how we're looking right now. <laughs> okay guys, we have this car. Gabby, <laughs> Dwayne. I just want a little a bit of comparison moment. We have this cart. Mama, get out of the way. This other cart. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> and then we have this mini cart. This cart was purchased for an idea, idea that I had to make a care cart. Yeah. No, I bought like first aid things uh, to put in the care cart and put it outside our door. And then I was scared that we would lose the cart because somebody would steal it. But I don't think, <laughs> I don't think it'll be stolen. I think it's perfect for the job. Let's just believe in humanity and hope that they don't <laughs> steal it. We're making progress, you know, slowly but surely. We're getting there. Just a lot of clutter, but everything is kind of where it should be. My closet still needs all the clothes, but all the shoes are in there. And now we're gonna go eat because we are hungry. We're at the plaza, the Planet's Cheesecake Factory, but it seems like there's a long waiting time, so I guess we'll see. There was no waiting time for outside tables, so we're sitting outside. Fun fact, we've never eaten outside, and we've come to this Cheesecake Factory so many times, so new experience. We're seated right next to the beautiful fountain. <laughs> Dad is just contemplating life. <laughs> Who joined us? Timothy. Yes. <laughs> He's so fashionable today. Wait, I have to show the outfit. Today? Well, like almost today. every- Today. Especially you today. You have to look good when you're part of Life with Gab's entourage. <laughs> Ooh. 
body. He's looking extremely, extremely handsome. <laughs> we just ate, have leftovers, and some dessert because it did not fit in my tummy right now. But we have to go back to the dorm, organize a little bit more, and then. So we're back at the door. <laughs> record, record now. <laughs> I had my hand up here when I started recording, record which is now. why he's making fun of me. But I don't know how much more I'm gonna <laughs> keep in this vlog because it's just a mess and I don't wanna keep doing time lapses. Plus, we're gonna do a dorm tour whenever everything is set up and when Simone gets here. So I think that this is a good spot to end. For a quick recap, Reminder moment, this is what we're working with. Okay, right here, we love it. Bathroom, this is what we're working with. Little mini cart right there. So I guess we'll see how it turns out in the end later. We love the lighting in, in, this, in this beautiful room. Can you hear the people screaming in the background? I wonder if you can hear that I in the can. video. <laughs> So, there is a lot of people out there. I believe there's like some sort of welcome activity or something for the new students. But we're here doing boring things like unpacking. Anyways, I guess that this is it for today's move in vlog. I hope that you enjoyed tagging along and that you stay tuned for that dorm tour that's coming soon. Hit that like button, make sure to press the bell Leave a comment, subscribe. Yes, leave a comment. What are you excited about for this year? Yay, okay, that's all I have to say. That was awkward, awkward pause. Anyways, <laughs> I'll see you next time.